Hey guys, welcome to The Finding Things. In case you missed it, last week we put out an episode of our show, Just Fine, where we talked about the Drew Estate Java Mint flavored cigar. This week, what are we talking about? This week we'll be covering an episode of The Finest Things, where we talk about the Cavalan X Bourbon Oak Barrel Scotch. But not Scotch. So essentially, uh, Kabbalan, uh, actually not that old of an organization, um, pretty old region within Taiwan, uh, but the brand itself was only established in 2005. Um, so that's pretty spectacular considering I feel like a lot of these scotch companies uh, or whiskey companies in general, you know, market themselves as, you know, since the year five. Um, but <laughs> but uh, they've really made a name for themselves by coming out with some phenomenal product. Uh, and, you know, when I was thinking of things that, you know, I wanted to feature, we wanted to feature on the, you know, as the finest things, um, Kavalon whiskey's kind of come to the top of my mind. I think it's something that offers uh, an exceptional level of performance. Um, the price points, yeah, they're not terribly inexpensive, but realistically, they kind of offer, in my opinion, a pretty phenomenal value while still being one of the finest things, which is really cool. It's accessible um, and delicious. Um, also, not really as well known as I really think they deserve to be, though they are gaining quite a lot of notoriety. Oh, that's fair. Um, so um, I guess we'll start with the aesthetics um, and uh, kind of talk about the uh, the packaging uh, that uh, that it came in. Uh, th this particular um, packaging is actually really nice. Um, it has like this um, this green kind of like velvety, silky sort of uh, covering on it, and these golden hinges, and and there's this very satisfying click when when you open it, and and then you're kind of presented um, the bottles just kind of sitting in this pillowed sort of uh sort of uh um uh i guess bed <laughs> yeah i know it's yeah. it's it's pretty crazy and then there's a little story of um of of this particular whiskey uh which is just like marketing 10 out of 10 yeah <laughs> would yeah, recommend yeah, sure. <laughs> it's no, really something it looks super neat oh yeah um and, and they've actually got a bunch of the sort of information on the whiskey in there which yeah. is kind of cool um you know one thing i i was thinking was you know when i look at that you know it's it's a you know nice bottle um, you know, nice color. And I look mm. at that and I think, hmm, what color is that? I, I think that's Cattle Eager. Yeah, yeah, Cattle Eager. Yeah, yeah. Egret, whatever. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> the, the reason mm. we're sort of saying that seemingly random combination of sounds out of our faces to describe the color there is that that's what Kabbalon describes it as. So, uh, you know, under tasting notes, and I'm going to backtrack and read some of the, the mists of Kabbalon, a little story they have there. <laughs> um, but the color they describe it as is Cattle Egret. Or egret, e e I, I don't know, a word I never heard before, mm. a color that I think, not real, but... <laughs> um, <laughs> they made it up. <laughs> presumably. Uh, so, but the mists of, of Kavalon. In ancient times, the land around Yilan was called Kavalon, a mysterious land that was solely inhabited by the indigenous people of the Kavalon clan. The name was officially recognized by the Emperor of the Qin Dynasty in the year 1809, when the original city was also built under the same name. Kavalon had always been kept primitive and protected from the outside world by Xieshan Mountain Range. By the Xieshan Mountain Range. Xieshan. I, I don't know, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, which is abundant in high quality natural water that comes from deep within the mountain range. The mists of Kavalon and the spirits of the past have been created for you in this exquisite whiskey. Again, marketing. 10, 10 out of 10. 10. <laughs> Would recommend. <laughs> Tasting notes, color, cattle eager, uh, or amber. Yeah. I don't really go out on a limb there with that one, but uh, <laughs> uh, whiskey colored, you might say. 
Uh, nose, uh, clean and fresh tropical fruitiness with uh, uh, pleasant hints of vanilla, coconut, and spices. Uh, palate, well-balanced, natural sweetness, uh, vanilla and oak spices, round and complex with silky smoothness. Kavalon Distillery, making spirits, seriously. It's <laughs> pretty good. But, I think let's actually jump into it a little bit. What do you think? Oh, for sure. All that marketing is absolutely nothing if the whiskey itself is crap, so uh, let's, let's give it a shot. Sorry for the uh, inappropriate glasses. My other glasses were at the cleaners. Yep. Thank you. Oh, even from here. You smell, yeah, smell. I was just it, going to say. It's just yeah. so wonderfully perfumed and pungent. So it's, it's fragrant. Just, oh, yeah. <sighs> mm. It's just... It, it, Every single time, and, and this is, uh, what, our third time yes. having this now. Um, honestly, so honeyed and fruity and the vanilla, and you can really smell that that, that, that bourbon oak. It, it, mm. you, you really do get that. that is a bit of warm toastiness, but, but the overwhelming thing, uh, to me anyway, is, is that sweetness, the vanilla, and, and certainly the tropical fruit elements. Uh, Definitely. Anything else or anything you disagree with there? No, no, I, I totally agree with what you're saying there. Um, if I could describe it a little bit shorter than that, I'd say dessert in a glass. Yeah, and, and I, I can't fault you for that type of descriptor because it's what it smells like. Um, mm. And if memory serves, it's, it's kind of what it tastes like, but without further ado. Uh, it's 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 tangy. It's it's fierce. It, it, it doesn't back down. You know, we are at I think forty six percent ABV, something yep. like that. Yeah. Yep. Um, so it's you know it's 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 not uh, uh, light in in any way, but it's such an easy drinker mm. because the the sweetness and and that. But it's rich. not you know it's not like an Isla or anything like that no, where you no. get like the smoke and the pee or no. the the aggression or anything like that. This isn't an in your face whiskey. This is. Um, this is this is refined and 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 it's smooth and it's it's mellow, but at the same time you have this level of complexity where it's, where you can appreciate everything that's going on all at once. I feel like this is what people think McCallum is like. <laughs> <laughs> like very complex, super smooth, incredibly mm. delicious. Not to say that no McCallums are those things, but a lot of them aren't. Well, I, I, I heard that uh, some McAllen's just aren't what they used to be. Yeah, yeah, no, it's um, it's it's been a change in the organization, but not not that organization. That's no, <laughs> no, it's certainly not. <laughs> but no, we're, we're we're better than ever. Yes, yes. But um, yeah, no, I really do get the, the when they say tropical to me, it's always like uh, uh, bananas and pineapple. Yep. that's 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 sort of what I always sort of come away with. Yep, that's true. Uh, here I'm not getting like, uh, not getting like mango. It's really more the pineapple banana yeah. sort of tropical. Yeah, which is so interesting for a whiskey. I I would call it um, not my favorite or the best whiskey in the world, hmm. but uh, flawless. You know, I, I, I there's nothing nothing to complain about. For yeah, sure. and I, that that's uh, you know something I've I've sort of picked up is that. Lots of whiskeys, uh, if you're looking for them, might have some flaws, uh, certain things that you wish just weren't there, um, and I, I, I don't, I don't feel any of that. Oh yeah. Um, it's 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 really really something. If you haven't uh, given it a try yet, I would truly uh, recommend looking into some of the Cavalons, especially uh, this as ex bourbon oak. And and for those of the naysayers out there that, um, you know, only want to drink Scotch or or are obsessed with age statements because this, by the way, doesn't have one. Um, that's stupid. Uh, <laughs> there, there are really delicious things that might be outside your comfort zone, and this is yeah. an example of why you really should try. I gotta say, I was a skeptic at first. Um, you know, I, I, I didn't think that anywhere could actually compete with whiskey from Scotland, and um, this for sure uh, proved me wrong. Um, and uh, I'm happy to have, to have tried it, and, and now I've got this whole other genre of whiskey that I can kind of explore, and, uh, you know, we can um, just taste from there. It's really fantastic. But um, in any event, guys, 
if you like what you see, if you like what you hear, give us a like. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube station, The Finer Things. Uh, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We have one of those. We do have a Twitter. <laughs> but, <laughs> as always, we had fun. We hope you did. If you have any questions, you know, leave us a comment, comments, whatever. Uh, we'd really love to hear what you have to say. Uh, and, you know, if, if you are subscribed, I don't know if you said tap that bell. Make sure you uh, get those I didn't, but notifications. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> But, you know, we're, we're loving doing this. If you're loving it, let us know. Um, and I think that about does it, though. Cheers. Cheers.